Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you're tuning in from, welcome back to the channel. My name is ASFM, I hope you're all staying safe currently as with everything that is going on. Welcome back to episode 4 of season 2 here with Locomotive Sophia, the railway men. And um, it's double trouble time, doubled game against CSK Sophia and we've lost our previous game against Locomotive Plodvid unfortunately as you can see. We lost 2-0. And from that, we've gained some serious issues within the uh, within the football club. Burakov, as I'll show on my tactics, Burakov is out injured with a concussion. He's out for two weeks. Um, then Papazov can't even play today because obviously he's not allowed to play against his parent club. And Lagoa is also injured as well. He's out for ten to two de to two weeks. So. It's a, a pretty good image. It's it's a pretty grim game to be going into against um, against CSK Sofia when you've only got a sixteen year old up front, and um, Ilevsky he's coming in on that press on a poacher role. But my word, if we somehow get through this, it's going to be from uh, really sort of sticking it to them. And well, we're going to be playing a four four two here on cautious as um, it's going to be all CSK Sofia these part next two games if we can somehow knock a late winner in that would be absolutely brilliant but um, something tells me that this is going to be a pretty grim episode so uh, strap in get your popcorn whatever you want let's go and let's get this first game seen through hopefully here with CSK Sofia as I said we're sticking with a 4-4-2 Yordanov and Ilvesky coming in Ilvesky playing that poacher and the 16-year-old Jordanov, that's who we're betting on to play that press the um, target man on support. Got Stanchev, Vlad, Todor and Petkov in midfield. And on the back line, on the left, we've got Ilev, Stoev. We've got Ilev on the left, Stoev and Kerchev in that centre-back role and Pedro out on the right. Vassal is in goal and, my word, we are most definitely playing cautious. This is going to be a game where they're going to be all over us because they're top of the table. Um, and we are sitting from that last defeat. I think we're about, I think we were 10th on the table, but it's such an issue with having our top striker out and um, yeah, basically both our strikers out, which is absolutely awful. So it's going to be a real struggle here, but who knows, can the boys do it? So I'm going to point my fingers and what am I going to say? I'm going to say, uh, I know many of you will avenge yourselves. Everyone's inspired. That's perfect. That's great. Defenders, I have faith. Midfielders, I'm going to say I've got faith in you all. Hands together, I want you to go out there and make a difference. Everyone's inspired and motivated going into this game. Um, and here we are. We recent form, four wins, one loss, unfortunately. And um, I'm not too sure how uh, Locomotive Sophia are coming into this. Oh my goodness me, they've just won all their five games. Perfect, they're playing a 2-5-2. Two, two. Uh, and we're, oh, we're currently sixth, there we are. So we're sitting sixth and they're sitting 15 points pretty much 15 or more points above us so that's great to see but anyway here the game starts now and um, this is going to be a real sort of test for ourselves as um, well I'm already seeing that Pedro's blocked the shot so they've already taken shots at us um, but we are as I said this is going to be a real tough uh, game but here we go a highlight here Sankare what can he do out to Turistov back to Boltanov Turistov now he can play one out Stoev's there Todor's there So's there oh Sankare's going to have a shot Goodness gracious me, Turisov's there. What is going on? And they've scored. Goodness gracious me. 13 minutes in, Ali Sal has got his eighth goal of the season. And Locomotive Sophia's defending that was absolutely pitiful. And um, we're 1-0 down here. Well, as you can see, So and Sankare linking together. As Sankare takes a shot. And who's 14? He just comes out, ball watches and dives. I think that's Ilev, isn't it? Yeah, Ilev just goes and ball watches. And unfortunately, we find ourselves 1-0 down here and... You know, it's, uh, it's going to be a real tough game to even see this out. And here we come with Mazuku. What can he do? Back to So. So now takes a shot from distance and it just manages to go past the goalkeeper. But, you know, this is a... Uh, it, it's a it's going to be a pretty long higher. It's been a pretty long game. So Ilev fires one in and... Uh, sorry, not Ilev. I couldn't see the player again before then. But here we are. So takes the ball. Ilev now. Kurchev can fire one out. And Matthias or Mathieu... I'm not too sure. He can play one back to Sankare. Sankare, my word, just walks through our defence and takes the shot there and is very lucky to go wide. Um, but we're still only 1-0 down, so we are still in this. We only need to get one you know, one counter-attack, one um, chance. And if it's taken well, well, there we are. We could potentially go back up to being quite high up. So 
Um, we're currently sitting sixth because of this, and um, it's pretty grim. But anyway, there we are, half time. We're one 0 down here. We're against CSK Sofia. I'm delighted with your performance, yeah, because I think we are. We're still in this game. We're one 0 down. We've managed to hold on, and uh, I'm going to give the boys a bit of encouragement here, and um, hopefully we can sort of move forward and see if we can potentially take it to them. Now Matayu can play one out, and so is immediately, and then it's it's a goal. Oh, did I really just say that on camera? Um, that we could potentially. Did I really just say that on the here that we could potentially get ourselves back in here? Well, it's 2-0 now in 47 minutes and we are down. Vassal, you know, butterfingers again. This could be worse now as I fear that that's what's going to happen. And Kerchev, Pedro now, what can he do? Pedro out to Petkov. Petkov pushing through. They're immediately pressing. Todor now, what can he do? Todor to Vlad. Vlad now, come on, Vlad. What is that? What, like... Sometimes some of these players just really do not turn up in big games. And Andemov is there and he scored. And we're 3-0 down and it's literally taken them a minute. And I'm uncautious. What is going on? I've literally put it on cautious. Play defensive then. Oh, goodness me. It's 48 minutes and we're 3-0 down here. We are being absolutely torn apart by CSK Sofia. I'm not even sure what they even play. Is it sort of a... Um, yeah, press Ali Sal. He's been absolutely dominating this game, but... Oh, goodness me. This affects our um, sales there, but my goodness me, it's only just over the bar. And again, we're just getting so, so lucky here. But, you know, we're we're, we're pretty lucky to be only 3-0 um, down here. They've been all over us. We've done nothing with the ball. Um, Mizuku's there. Sankare's there. And there we are. I don't know what is going on. We've got no defenders even, even trying to get out. And um, we're 4-0 down here against CSK Sofia, and it just does not seem to be changing. So I'm going to have to make some substitutions as this is just, oh, this is pitiful to watch. Put Todor in a box to box. Bring on DI. Lads, oh, who's, um, we're just going to play that. I'm going to have Todor, uh, Jordanov playing as a poacher and Ilev as a shadow striker, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to confirm that. So it's just a bit more sort of defensive minded um, with changing on. And here we go, come on, this is not even our highlight, but here we go. Mizuku can fire one in for, for five. Matthias is there. Oh, that was such a crap goal to concede. Oh, that was absolutely such a shit goal to concede. I'm sorry to say, that was Jürgen Matthäu. What is this? Who was 17, man? Stoev, get to him. Look at me. We're 5-0 down here, and it's only been 75 minutes. They're still looking very dangerous. And I think this is a big realisation for what is coming up next. Oh, this is absolutely horrendous. 85 minutes in here. They've got another highlight to make it six. Zanev said, oh, they've made it six fucking nil. Are you mad? What is going on? I'm literally getting torn apart here by CSK Sofia. Fuck's sake. Look at this. Oh, that's absolutely shocking defending. That's it. You deserve your contracts being terminated for this. Absolutely pitiful. Oh, 90 plus 2. Nine, well, there it is, full time. And I don't even think I even want to post this for uh, for you guys to watch. But Urveski, what is he doing? 5.8. Everyone's played shocking. I'm going to go to the dressing room. I'm going to throw the water bottle and say I'm from... Oh, you're all demotivated. Yeah, fuck off. Have some demotivation. Well, there we are, 6-0 on our first game here, and it's been absolutely shocking. And um, I don't even know what to say. This is a bit awkward, but I wanted to let you know that it has been making noise. Yeah, I've got absolutely no... I think you're denial about your... I think you're in denial about... I'm a head coach this soccer... Yeah, you fuck off. I can't drop this issue, I'm afraid, and I can't treat... I'll piss... I'm not in the mood. Jesus... God, can you believe it? Well, there we are, 6-0 down in our first game here. And I'm I'm pretty dreading this Bulgarian second round because I don't want to uh, get slammed by CSK Sofia again. So there's going to be some uh, sort of changes to see what's going on. But if we don't have any strikers up front, I just can't see how we're getting through. It is literally going to have to be a part of the bus tactic. So with that in mind, I will see you all in the Bulgarian second cup. And um, that was a pretty grim first game, and I'm I'm a bit worried for what's, what's coming with the CSK Sofia gaming in the ball in this in the cup round. But anyway, we'll move forward to that one, and um, we'll see from then. Welcome back to the Bulgarians' second cup round here against CSK Sofia. I've calmed down from the first one as I got pretty pissed off with uh, the way that we lost that game and uh, the scoreline in which we lost that game. And um, I believe, hopefully, I think some of the players are not back. I didn't look at that until now. So we're going back in with the same squad. Um, I'd just like to draw your attention to our loans currently at the moment with some of our players. We've got um, some of the youngsters that are out at the moment. We've got uh, Valentin Nikolov and Luka Inanov and Manuel Inov. So a lot of ofs. Um, but our first one 
is Valentin Nikolov. He's the 18-year-old that was um, he played a, he played like a couple of games last season for us, um, but he's out on loan and I think he's playing absolutely fantastic in the second in the second league. He's got 12 appearances, four goals, and three assists for Svelio. Um, they've I think they've only recently just come up. So for them, yeah, they, so they've only just recently come up from the um, third league. And uh, I, I I think on their um, at the moment, oh, so they're in the relegation zone, but um, hopefully they can get themselves out and they can keep them up. As um, my God, look at Botev, Botev aren't even anywhere near it. But Arda are there, and Minor Pernik are probably going to be the team to come up. Um, but goodness me, Etar are there as well. They haven't even got out. Goodness gracious me, I think this is quite interesting because we haven't obviously with some of the players that have um, as sort of the players, some of the clubs that have moved down. Um, I thought they might be straight back up, but um, it shows here that I don't think they are. This is incredible. Botev, um, Arda in second place. Um, but anyway, we're going back on to our game. And the importance of today cannot be understated. This is a big, big game. I think I'm going to change my mindset to defensive. I think if we might change from counter-press to regroup and counter, um, I think because at the moment I, I just don't think we're going to see the ball. So if we do gain the ball, just calm it down. And if we lose it, well, that's fine. We just regroup, sit back and um, head back. So is, is there a way that I can play him on as a defensive winger? Um, I can. So both of these players can go defensive wingers. I might just have Ilev playing as a shadow striker and Yordanov as a pressing... No, not pressing forward, as a poacher. I might just do that as... This is going to be a very, very defensive style tactic as I just cannot afford um, to have the to be knocked out the way that we did last game um, and to be, you know, sort of really impacted um, because that 6-0 defeat isn't just a 6-0 defeat. It also impacts the squad moving forward. But hopefully going into this game, we can clear ourselves. As I've said, this is the tactic of 4 4 one one as um, I just think uh, with, with, with the team that we're playing against, we need to play this sort of tactic. Hopefully I don't get as pissed off as last time with what the game was like, because that, that oh my word, you, that game it did my head in. But anyway, we're going into this one. Hopefully we can uh, sort of get a better result than last time, as it feels that way. But overall, I think the club is in a good position with where we sit on the table. We were, we were um, as it showed, I think it was... I think we're a ninth, I believe. Um, but I think that's a quite a good position to be in as this club because, you know, we've only just coming up. We don't have the players really to be pushing for sort of top top spots. You know, I think it's going to take a couple of years until we're at the point of CSK Sofia and even Ludogorets. I think these teams are really sort of in Europe. So if we can get our way up and push forward, then that'd be absolutely perfect. But I think just the, for this season, I think my aim is to really sort of stay up. And if we can get a good cup run, we can. But I just we cannot afford to go down. We just can't get into a position where we're in a relegation fight. We need to just constantly keep just winning games. Any games that are sort of from teams that are in the lower leagues and that we not, not who are in sort of the the lower part, section of the table, we need to just continue to beat because um, when we're coming up against teams like this, we're just going to get smacked. Um, so hopefully going into this game, I'm not too sure what I'm going to say. Uh, I think I'm going to say you can go out there and avenge yourselves because that always seems to work. I'm going to say I've got faith in defenders and faith I've got in midfield. My hands together, I'm going to say, actually, no, I'm going to I'm going to have my hands in my pockets. So I'm going to want you to go, oh God, I've, um, right, individuals, I can't do anything. I've, no, I've demotivated the 16-year-old. No, you're of. Do what you've got to do. Oh, dearie me. Right, okay, here we are. Game starts, and um, it's going to be a long 90 minutes, I think. Um, uh, but we've got the first shot. We've actually had a shot. Perfect. We've actually had a shot in the first 13 minutes, which is great to see. Well, it was pretty grim last time, and, we, and we've got more percent of possession. We've got 62% possession. But we will remember, they're so clinical on the break, and um, Lokomotiv Sofia here have survived for 90 minutes. But here we go. Oh, goodness me, Zanev, what is he going to do? He's going to fire a ball in. He's going to hit it. And my goodness me, it's just gone wide. And we have a big scare in the 30th minute there. But um, we're holding on. We're doing a bit, a bit better touch wood than um, than what we were last time. As it's going to be a very, very tight game. Yeah, I'm going to press him. But we've made it to half time, nil nil. And uh, this is a bit better. I'm quite proud of this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come into the dressing room and I'm gonna have my gonna pump my fists and say uh, actually no I'm gonna have my hands together and say I'm pleased with the way that things are going. Everyone's inspired. Perfect going into second half. As that's what we need. We need to keep spirits up. 
and hopefully just continue to pump the like bring this game forward and um hopefully you know if things go well we can take it to extra time as that's what I'd really like to have happen on this set on this episode as um I feel I went into that other game um sort of more attackive and that just did not work as you know there's a real issue when it comes to that as uh, as you saw you know we lost 6-0 on camera and that's just not great as we I just don't think we set up in the position in the way that we should have so I'm going to praise the boys but it's 86 minutes now and I'm going to make a defensive tactic and I'm going to make a bit of a change so Todor is going to come off and I'm going to bring on DI Petkov is going to stay on Kerchev oh who do I bring on I could bring on Kusev but he's he's quite a youngster so I'm going to leave I'm going to leave him on Ilvesky is there He's gonna stay on, right? Well, I'm just gonna play one, one. Um, I'm just gonna make one change here, and it was in die. He's gonna come on in the 86th minute. Can't do anything about those players, but it's uh, it's extra time. Goodness me, we have made it to extra time, and it's nil nil. And my word, if we can nick ourselves a winner, oh, that would be absolutely perfect. Knock them out of the cup round. They can win the league, but my word, if we stay in this competition and make it through to the quarterfinals. That, I think this would be a fantastic episode, even with that 6-0 loss previously. Um, but going into this one, it's, I'm going to go into the dressing room. I'm going to uh, pump my fists and uh, well, actually I'm going to outstretch my arms. I'm going to say I'm delighted with that performance because that's been absolutely fantastic from the boys. And uh, I'm going to give them some praise because, you know, I think this has really sort of shown that if you just sit back and defend. Um, but the issue is, is that I can't have I've got a number of players looking current bookings. I think that's fine. Um, I'm going to take that off. And um, it's extra time. Oh, my God. We've got one more half time to go. But the defensive guile of this team is fantastic. And hopefully, can we go to two penalties? Because this is a huge game. So start the extra half second round. And come on, I'm going to praise the team. And hopefully, we can survive as this is a huge, huge potential victory here for Locomotive Sophia. But here we are, 116 minutes in, and they've got a highlight. And here they come with Mizuku. And this could be potentially very dangerous as Mizuki comes in. He's pushing forward. He's going to keep going. What's he got? He fires a shot, but Vassal saves the big man with... And that's it. That's the highlight. And here we are, the 90 plus one minutes. We've made it to penalties. Goodness gracious me. And the 16-year-old, he's displayed little... Oh, goodness me. I don't even know who to play first. Um, displaying little emotion. Could we get the 16-year-old's... Yeah, if we add him, because he's very good at taking penalties, composure, um, doesn't want to take a penalty, great. Um, so I'm going to put Kerchev afterwards. Who's got the highest on pen? Vlad. Um, no, if you if I take you off, Vlad. Tetkov, you can take one. Um, Kerchev, you can go afterwards. Jordanov, oh goodness me. Um, Stanchev, you're calm. And I think that's what I'm going to play it as on the first bit. I'm going to give the boys a peck off. And I'm going to say, um, oh, what do I say to them? Because this is, I've never really um, pumped my fists. No, I, I don't think I should say that. Um, try to relax, be decisive and know where you're putting your penalty. Defenders, I have faith in you. Midfielders, I'm going to say my hands together and say, I have faith in you. Everyone's inspired. I'm going to put, I, again, I'm just going to say I've got faith in you up front. Everyone's motivated and inspired. Come on. Oh my goodness me, and it's Zanev to take the first penalty here against against Vlad, sorry. And can Vlad make himself the hero here? And, oh goodness me, what a penalty from Zanev there to make it 1-0 to CSK Sofia on the penalties. And here comes Vlad. Can the man, he's been with us all game, can he score his first penalty? You're damn right he can. He puts it away and Lokomotiv Sofia have scored their first penalty. And now here comes Boltanov. Can we knock CSK Sofia out here? Vlad, big save, come on. Oh, he's put it in a fantastic, pen a fantastic penalty again. And here comes Petkov, the 20-year-old, the one who's always up front for us. Pavel Petkov fires. He scores. Get in. It's 2-2 on the penalties here. And Matayu, the kid who knocked us, knocked us in 5-0 and I had an absolute meltdown. Can Vlad save it? Come on, Vlad. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, my goodness me, it's hit the post. And goodness gracious me, Kerchev has the position to put us 3-2 up. Come on, Kerchev, get this in. Yes, he can. Come on, Lokomotiv Sofia. Let's go. Jordanov now. What can he do? He can place it on the penalty spot. Can Vlad come in big? 
Oh, you, he saved it. Vlad has saved it. Lokomotiv Sofia are one penalty away from going through in the Bulgarian Cup. Come on. It's Jordanov. Oh, it's the 16-year-old to send us through. I put a lot of pressure on him for him to get into the starting lineup, And he's got one game. He's had two games against CSK Sofia. But my goodness me, this is an absolute huge penalty. He pulls up. Oh, he's got it. Lokomotiv Sofia have defended all game. And we've gone through in the Bulgarian Cup to the, I think it's the uh, quarterfinals. Come on. That's a massive win. Oh, my goodness me. Well done, guys. That's a good win for us. That's really special. I'm going to outstretch my arms and say it's really special. And that is everyone's motivated and looked inspired. What a game. Let's go, Lodomoto Sofia. The railway men are steaming ahead in the Bulgarian Cup. And we're through to the quarterfinals. Oh, my goodness me. We have just sat back, defended that whole game and won it on penalties. Ilev performed well. You're damn right he did. Your defensive work was top notch. Locomotive Sofia have been spotted by Stoilov. I don't even know who you are, but there we are. That was the that was the Bulgarian second cup round, and um, I think for the next one it is most definitely got to be the um, Bulgarian Cup quarter final against. Uh, I'm not too sure now, and then Pirin game. But goodness me, what a game! And I'm so glad to get one over CSK Sofia. But we're going to the quarterfinals of the Bulgarian Cup here on this save. That's next episode. Um, I'd just like to also say thank you ever so much to everyone who's tuned in. And, um, well, there we are. We've done it. We've got through the Bulgarian Cup. We had an absolute stinker in the first home game on the um, league. But goodness me, did we recuperate that and win the Bulgarian second round. And we're into the quarterfinals. And um, I'll leave that here. Thank you ever so much for everyone for tuning in. Um, a like, please like and subscribe the video and hopefully subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the content and I'll see you all in the next game when we're in the quarterfinals of the bulgarian cup and hopefully just two games potentially away and winning silverware with locomotive sophia here on this save in our second season we would have done consecutive oh i'm getting too ahead of myself i need to continue well there we are guys thank you again so much and i'll see you all in the next one bye bye